Hi, Carol here and Barb, and we're back in the gesso stage of our altered uh, canvas of my mom called Memories. And which Memory is Lane. Actually, Memory Lane. And Barb is, we, we took the gesso and we added some water. We don't want the consistency to really drown out the canvas. And the canvas part one, <laughs> it just shut off in 29 minutes, the camera. I looked up and I went, ah, the camera's off. But I guess I only get 29 minutes worth. So we're into the second part and we're doing the gesso. So we're going to, Barb doesn't want to gesso the whole thing, no. even though we're going to spray use some sprays are we on this one Barb? yeah we're going to use some sprays uh, i'm going to do my shading by hand with uh you know because i'm an artist i'm going to do my own hand shading there's some things in the background that i still want to show up so i don't want to gesso everything okay. um just the one pieces that have color that i want to do my own color to I want to be very careful of what I have in the background that I still want to see. So I have a combination of different uh, colors and styles. I don't, um, and if, you know, I get to that point where, oh, I think I need a more color, then I can always go back and add more, mm -hmm. more gesso and more color. But are you going to gesso all the metals or, uh, um, is there anything you want me to do? Well, yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, if you want to start gessoing the flowers. The flowers on the top. Yeah, the flowers. Um, gesso. Like some of the things, like uh, the bingo card, I'm going to just gesso around the word. Uh, gesso it and then take my finger and take it off so you can see it. The believe tag, I'm just going to gesso around the believe. So Do you, you want can... this or not? Yeah, we're going to gesso all that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Mom was into leopard print. No. No. Well, she may have been, and we didn't know. Yeah, she may have been, and we didn't know. <laughs> I don't know that I want to know. <laughs> yeah, some things we just have to keep to ourselves. Yeah. And that's it. So, so if you go on the uh, part one, and all of a sudden we're not there, and I didn't say goodbye, let's just say goodbye, Barb. Goodbye. Goodbye. From part one. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, we're well, part two. Oh, I really like it better. Actually, on my next canvas, I'm going to... I didn't uh, bring down the gesso. So I'd say this is brought down to thirds, eh? Yeah, yeah. And... That's much better. Because you can always give it a second coat when it dries. Yeah. Then to have it really thick. Okay, so that's the flowers. But I don't know where you want me to go. Do you want the, the metal? Um, yeah. Are you going to spray the metal? Yeah, I'm going to spray the metal. Um, just... Uh, I might like just like light go coat like to that. the wings, but not the bling here, and just use my finger to kind of fill it in, highlight it. Leave I'll the do bling it because out. I have the sponge. I'll do the, and then you can walk around and you want this done. You said the flowers, right? Yeah, you want the flowers. The, I want yeah, the flowers. Actually, I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna just yeah. You want this pink out of there. Yeah, I don't want any pink. No, no. I, I want just some of the, like, as you can see, I'm just dabbing around some of the pieces with the my finger so I can kind of blend the gesso out. So I'm not completely gessoing all the color away because I am going to do this in um, oh, browns and, and blues. Okay. So, um, you know, I want to highlight all my metal pieces. I'm going to shade behind my metal pieces. But, um, you know, it's a work in progress, so I'll have to see it as I go along to see what I want to do. I'm not going to gesso out my bling. I want that yeah, to I was just seen. saying in my last one, I'm going to have to scrape my bling because I do want my bling to show. But if this is, if you're first learning this, you really, it's experimental. The whole thing is experimental. Yeah. So really, on your 962nd canvas, it's going to be really good. Yeah. <laughs> on your millionth canvas. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's not go million. 9,462 sounds good. Okay. There you go. Here, I'll put that over here okay. so you can share. That's um, kind of you. Um, what about, yeah, you want to do this. You don't want this. Yeah, um, no. Um cap thing you can spray your cap you can ink your cap right yeah I'm and just gonna take that off the pearl though I want the pearl to show okay there you go um, 
the background is so nice too. Yeah, like yeah. I have maps and puzzles yeah. and um, you know, I know lots of from watching YouTube, they like to gesso everything and then do their color. Like I, I want to gesso some and leave some color and then I can play with the color when I'm done. Um, I just don't want to cover everything up until I see what I want to leave and what I want to add to. Um, It's nice to see it like some of the color leave though, eh? Yeah, I want to leave some of the color because the map is antique. Um, Take, you dripped on the map. Oh, okay. Um, Can you yeah. Put that up. You see St. John's there. There you go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so there's some things that, you know, you want to be able to see like the numbers in the um, uh, measuring tape and and different things like that. So, I mean, the metals, some of the metals I'll highlight afterwards after I shade them. Um, that's when the uh, painter's gonna come out in me is when I start doing my colors and my shading. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, and then layer it that way, but uh, yeah, I like a lot of the colors we have in the background. So, I mean, I don't want to cover it all up so you I want can't to grab see your it. Finger on that one. Yeah, that diamond there. If you're going to get messy. A paper towel. Right there. Yeah. Do you want a paper That's towel? That's why I or use. Do you want a baby uh, wipe? I'll use a baby wipe. That's why I don't use a sponge brush. I use a brush brush because I can get yeah, into can everything and then I can play with my fingers. Um, so I'm not covering up what I don't want to cover up. Is that a jab? <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Yeah. No. Um, I'm not going to touch here, the... Here, here's the brush. Do. Use the brush. That way it's easier to control okay, what you're doing. Than, uh, uh, if you want a smaller brush, I have a smaller one. I have a hundred of them over there. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's much easier. It's all about oh, control. Oh, it's all about control. Thanks, yeah. Barb. I'm out of control. And you know women, we like to be in control. Yeah. So, yeah. um, well, you know, covering the metals. Some of us more than others. I'm not giving any names up. Yeah, Carol. I know. Um, yeah, especially that $5 bill. Yeah, yeah, I don't want my $5 bill covered up. Yeah, yeah. there's certain things that you don't want to cover up and like I and said yet, I'm gonna play the with them later. Is nice because it brings the cheese look at it just brings that up. Well that's yeah you, know, you know that reminds me of uh, when mom used to go cod fishing in Newfoundland you know with the fishing nets and, and everything so I wanted to put that in there as a reminder. Yeah. Um, Perfect. You know it's all about memories. Yeah. Um, these are all my memories and I'm going to give them to my sister. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just yeah. a reminder yeah. what the memories are. Where was I during all this Yeah, time? where were you during all this? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I don't know. I say, I'm, you know, I might keep this one for myself and then make one each for my sisters. And, well, it's, you and know what? It's nice stuff. to do the smaller canvases. Like so, if you're giving it away, like um, it's not as much intense work and uh, product. Yeah, yet, well, that doesn't bother yet. me, but, you know. Well, you know, I'm not a millionaire like you, but. You know, if you're saving your pennies, and no, sometimes you know, if you want it just a piece in a in a studio, um, it doesn't have to be big. I've yeah, I have it. some smaller, really the wide square canvas that have texture to it. Already, you know the long so, ones. You know um, the long canvas, like say, uh, let's see, probably about eight, no, ten inches wide, and then they're really a couple of feet long. Yeah. I love those too. Yeah, I have some, I have the square ones that I bought, the thick ones. I have um, four different canvas that I bought to do for my sisters. And, uh, you know, as an artist, I never give away my first painting or my first, mind you, my kids take them, but I don't give them away. Exactly. Um, I don't give away my... I like to keep my original, so... My first so, cooking, you know? Yeah. I don't give that away either. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, I might keep this one for myself and then yeah. um, do up ones that I know my sisters have memories of. Yeah, and that's the truth. Our memories are all different. Yeah, everybody's memories are different. Um, 
<laughs> some remember, some don't. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes I wonder like what household they were living in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> where where was I yeah, when all this you? happened? Yeah, Listen, it, I remember every cab that was called. So when I do my sister Sue's, there's going to be stitches all over that canvas because that girl went to the hospital more times for stitches than anything. She did. Oh, Sue was always splitting her head open. Yeah. I'm just if you kidding. if you cut all her hair off, she'd be nothing but a map. Oh, that's funny, eh? Yeah, she... I remember one time she... Can you, can you grab that? Oh, where'd it go? I don't know. We'll she was leaning on, back on the kitchen chair. Uh, and no, we I... had those old-fashioned water radiators. Yeah. And I said, Sue, you're going to fall. Sure enough, chair tipped over. Goodbye. Down she went. My mom called two cabs because they were taking too long. Both cabs showed up. Then the cab drivers were fighting over who's going to take us to the hospital. Mom says, just get in a car. She was a righty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If what I had about a... this? Is this staying wood? Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna antique that, actually, oh, by hand. That's a good idea. Yeah. And leave the writing so you can see it. it you know what? It's stressful to do somebody else's work, even if it's just gesso, because it's not your piece. Like, if it mucks up, well, then it's your piece. You could start over. But yeah. as the person beside me is looking and going, what is she doing that for? Uh, what about this? Uh, I just want to do, like, I just want to do, that like, do it around. I don't want to actually cover all of it up. I want to cover up the red. I'll tell you what, this leopard... Uh, yeah, that's got to get is, covered good. This is, like, I think you're going to have to do um, a thicker gesso. Oh, do you want to grab that with that? Do you have a wipe? Yeah. It's nice with the gesso to give this a different color, though. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do this piece, and uh, I really want it to look Actually, antique. Yeah. So I'm going to use the browns, a lot of the browns, uh -huh. um, to look, make it look old. Yeah. And then I'm going to incorporate some blue. Um, yeah. My what mom this went, always wore the same blue shirt to bingo every week. It was her lucky shirt. So I want to make it blue for the antiquing you know, for memory lane, and then I want to do the blues because of the water, Newfoundland. I got blues in the map that we You're not showing. keeping this, right? You're gonna... No, no, I'm going to gesso all that pink. I don't want the pink. I'm just going to highlight that after, make it look antique. I can't wait till it's finished, actually. Um, this part for me is quick and easy when you got something in your mind and you're ready to go and do it. Yeah. It's the details that I have to take my detailing, time on because yeah. detailing is what makes your piece. So while you can layer and glue and, and hot gun everything to the board. Hot gun, that's a good one. Hot gun? Yeah. Hot glue gun? Hot gun. No. Hot gun. Um, it's the details that makes your piece. It's always the details in my art and teaching my students to work from the background forward to make a piece of art to make it three-dimensional. This is so easy because you bring your dimension in, mm -hmm. but it's all the um, shading and highlighting that makes your piece stand out. I don't know what, if, are you gonna use that a different color? No, okay. I want the pearls to show. Okay. I want, you know, mom had a pearl necklace that she talked about all the time. She gave us a pearl necklace each. She had a real pearl necklace that she broke the clasp on, and every time she'd talk about getting that fixed, and she never did. Really? Yeah, she still has it. And, um, you know, she always talked, oh, I'm, I'm going to take that in and get it fixed. Yeah, like her watch. Like her watch, yeah. Yeah. And never did. So, um, you know, I want to incorporate on the, metal. the pearls. Yeah, we're going to have to up the ante if you're, or are you going to buff that? Are you going to keep that antique? Uh, I'm probably going to antique it by hand. Okay. With my, I, the nice thing about having an art studio is I have all kinds of stuff for my, my, my artwork. I have antiquing gels. Um, oh, I'm glad that's not my phone. Every time I do a video, my phone rings. Yeah. What no, about that's the just a message. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm doing You're it doing it first. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have so many products in my studio, paints, uh, you know, different things that I'm going to incorporate in this painting um, because Stay I have it at home. Stay tuned because we'll end up uh, 
We'll end up, yeah, see how this is going to have to just so um, thicker, maybe. Yeah, I mean, a or couple of unless coats. you're going to do it dark. Oh, you're splatting. Don't do it with that one. Don't do it with that one. That has product in it. Don't do it with that one. Okay, wait a minute. Don't grab this. Oh, I got these ones. Because this is uh, smell it. It's got. Yeah, it's we're going to have to put something over her picture because yeah. it's yeah. splatting. There, that's and then I'm, I'm going to that's add... with the uh, Mod Podge. We put Mod Podge matte, so that's why it's picking up like this yeah. really nicely. Um, yeah, let's stick a yeah. piece of paper towel or something in there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to um, antique around her picture as well, so it doesn't look just like it's just sitting Start, there. Yeah. yeah. Can you? Um, sh uh, I'm holding the just up here. It's the gesso helps all of the stains and the paints to stick, which is nice. Because if you don't gesso it, there's no way that that's going to uh, stick. No. Like a different product onto it. Yeah. I noticed that with uh, my stuff. It's like over it and over it there, like that. Yeah. And the black. But then, like I said, and like you said, it's going to see the difference just in the peg, eh? Yeah. I can't see behind there. And I don't want to jump up there, but you're going to take it home, so whatever yeah, you Yeah, I'm going to take it home and, it, it, you know... To work on it. To work on it. Um, when I'm done, I'll bring it back so Carol can put it on yeah. um, My YouTube. Channel, yeah. Because um, I really... Oh, you're going to have to be careful. What happened? Um, some of the dyes are coming off those black petals into my paint. Oh, switch over. So, Stick no, that I'm good. Down. Oh, I'm good. good. I cleaned it, yeah. Okay. But I'm going to... Um, I never noticed that. Yeah, you gotta... to watch. The black came off. Yeah. Cheap flowers. <laughs> <laughs> are you spraying the flowers? Um, what are you doing with the flowers? Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Sp well, I have... Well, I sprayed the background. So I'm not sure if I'm going to spray the flowers or if I'm just going to do them all by hand. I am going to do... I, I don't have the sprays. I bought yeah. a starter pack of sprays, which gave me silver, gold, stone, and um, this um, brownish color here. So those are the only sprays I have right now. It's all they had when I so went shopping. So you're going to do mostly paints? So I have, from my studio, I have glitter... Um, paints that I can use and just do by hand if I want to put some glitter in. Um, I am going to try and spray um, to antique things, but I think mostly what's going to happen is I'm going to end up doing a lot of it by hand just because I'm very OCD. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, to get the look I want I'm going to have to uh, probably do it by hand. Oh, this is turning gray again. It's funny, mine's not. Well, it Same might flowers. be just the, the black, you grab, black. Do you want to take that off the diamond there? I'm going to need a new cloth, I think. This one's getting quite full. There you go. And it's nice because when you do it, if you do it with paint, you can do it with your fine tip uh, paint. Yeah, brushes, I have right? uh, all kinds of different brushes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, do you want to take out a little bit of this, tone down that, believe? I don't think you want red, do you? No, I don't want the red. So you can, yeah, Go I'm ahead. just going to tone that down. Because you can run over your finger. Oh, there you got it. Yeah, there. I'm going to tone that down. I don't want the red like showing. Yeah. This is, I'm going to go over brown with these things. Same um, with missing you. Like, just um, to get that Just to silvery. tone it down. Yeah, I was, I was working there. And did you see the gray? Yeah. I picked up the oh, black. Oh, picked it up? Yeah. Not that it's going to matter because I'm going to go over it anyway. But, yeah, I don't want the gold to be very, you know, prominent, prominent in yeah. here. Looks really good. What about um, the shells down there? Are you going to do any more? Are you going to just go over this bingo lightly because I don't want that gold and yellow and red. Okay. So I want to just tone that down. I am anxious.
anxious to see this done, so you're going to have to stay up and all night tonight. Oh, you know, this might take me days. <laughs> I am so this is a nice, picky. This is a nice project, though, because it's personal. Yeah, and I'm just going to... But then all your pr projects are personal. Yeah. Mine are. I'm just going to highlight some of this with... Uh, there, excellent, the tops. Yeah, the tops. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm going to tone a lot of this color down. What about the top doily? Do you want it hard or do you want it soft? This one here? Yeah. Do you want it to stay soft? See how this one um, is I like it hard as a rock? Yeah, I like it so soft. It, it gives it flow. Do you want to keep it like yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep beige? Yeah, I'm going to keep it. Um, Spray. Oh no, I'm going to highlight all that. I'm going to make it, put the antiquing on the but edges to make it look just really old. To keep it on there, do you want to just, yeah, I, like that? Yeah, I just, just so did. Light. Oh, you did already? Yeah, I did already, oh, okay. yeah. Alright. Um, I just want to tone a lot of this. So you want to probably want to tone this to this green. Yeah, I want to tone the green down. I'll rub it with my hand in a minute. Yeah. Just get the wording out. Yeah, we have it. Under there it says. <laughs> yeah, that was on uh, our first video. Yeah, well, um, look at. <laughs> I'm going to take a cloth, uh, paper towel and go over it once it gets a little dry. Yeah. Actually, I have a little one. Why do I have this little piece? Oh, I'll take one thing out there. Boy, that's hard to do on this one. And since I'm incorporating the browns to make it really antique and the blues, I'm not going to completely cover all my shells. I want some of that brown to come through um, so that you can see when I antique it, it's got layers and depth to it that I'm not just going on top. Yeah. Um, that way it makes it look more 3D. Mm -hmm. Good idea. And the paint department, that's your department. Yeah, the paint department, yeah. I should actually have you do the painting then. I was hoping my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays came in today. Do they usually deliver it to the door? Yeah, it's UPS. Oh. And uh, I'm getting a little antsy because I'd like to get mine done. Yeah, I see how the pink gate, it, some of this is going to take a full force gesso. Yeah. Then, I, um, like when you're doing it. Where like is my gesso? Did I put it away? You did. Can you grab it there and I'll, yeah. um, we will. See how it's a little thin? Yeah, it's too like thin. Like, like we'll use, you know. Like that was good for this. Like uh, the stuff we want to see through. Do you want to squirt in that actual bin? Or do yeah, you, you can squirt it in here. It's, we don't need a whole lot. But there are some pieces that need to be looking at our timeline here. We have five minutes left. Oh yeah, it's not actually white gesso is not really as thick. I guess from making so much molding paste. Yeah, you're mixing up the paste with the gesso. Yeah. It's like I thought gesso is this it's not, it's very liquidy. Yeah, the gesso I is, uh, I use that to prep all my canvas for um, my oil paintings. Oh, yeah? And I have uh, white and black. So if I, you know, my next, I'd like to do some black and white art. That's nice. Um, so I think, you oh, know. Oh, look at the difference. Yeah. Um, I have a piece in my mind that I want to do that's black and white. Mm -hmm. I love mom's black and white picture when um, she was young. Yeah, I have that one. I'll probably do your painting in that. I love it. Um. Oh yeah, the full gesso really helps on the metals, actually. Yeah, this is uh, this is more of where you're going to have to take your heat tool and give it some heat so that you can, you know. Oh, don't worry, it's just real wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about my uh, solid. Uh, Maple. Why don't you have a clear Where? plastic tablecloth over it and then I your should. stuff on top? Yeah. What are you thinking? You were yeah, shopping you yesterday. Thinking? Why didn't you get it? Yeah. How often have I been in here that I would even notice that you had? Well, you can't because look at all the junk I, I have all over. You have room to set your hand. I didn't and that's even know it. this was your table. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is a table. You said. I said. Yeah. This was in your dining room. I don't oh. remember this table. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. You just keep adding stuff like dresser and tables and uh, there's nothing yeah, left. Yeah, I mean my studio is jam-packed in all my 
art paints, brushes, everything, so I have no idea how I'm ever going to start doing mixed media or where I'm going to know, find to put I this know. stuff. You have to like... I'm going to have to make a room in the house. Yep, I can see your something leaving soon. Hmm? Something in your house is going to be leaving. Yeah, my business. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided I'm just not going to work anymore. I'm just going to do mixed media. Yeah. Hey, you ever see all the like gorgeous mixed media of this stuff out there? Oh, I knocked the camera. Let me see. Where are we, folks? There we go. And... Oh, much better on the thick. There. Yeah, like some of this pink ribbon needs to be cut. Oh, up. like it's going to be saturated. Yeah. Like, look at here. I think I've done four coats just as we're talking, trying to get it to turn white. Yeah. That's the Stampin' Up! Uh, gathered ribbon. I just love it. I bought rolls of this when it was on Yeah, my sister rack. gave me a roll. That's yeah. nice, see, Carol. Well, you bought me that junk today. Oh, no. Junk. I call everything junk. It's yeah. expensive junk, I'll tell you. Yeah, the compound. You know, this is not... Actually, I didn't pay for that. Matt did. Oh, uh, my son bought it. Yeah. You know what? I was, I was shopping. He goes, no, no. Here, I'll, I'll get Yeah. There. I was shopping the other day and I bought a cartload of stuff and my, my other son paid for that. So well, it's well, like, I think I'm just going to take my I'm kids gonna shopping. I'm going to have to go shopping with my kids. That's right. Like it's, uh, now is the time. We put in our time. Let them pay for it. I don't say, I used to go, no, 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 not anymore. Great, right thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that looks good, Barb. Like, that's, that looks good. I love the doily. Like, when you get into antiquing this, I don't even mind the black and white. On a black and white, when you Yeah, I bought that, the black and white flowers because I originally was going to do a black and white canvas. I'm going to grab the phone, but yep. we're going, we only have a minute left, so I think we'll close off with a kind thank you for watching and enjoying the process of this video, and we will catch you on part three when we show you the finished product. So you have yourself a blessed day. Bye now. Bye.